Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at the escape from Tarkov on Arc GPU. And since we don't even know what is the proposed minimum requirement because of the lack of information from the dev about the system requirement, there's also a lack on which Intel Arc GPU can play the game. Welcome to Respawn PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. A quick disclaimer, we're going to play with the IF5-12600K and 32GB of RAM. We're going to play at 1080p and get the closest as possible to 30fps for the lower end GPU and as high quality as possible as we climb up the GPU bracket. There's no XCSS in this game, so it will be FSR for the lower end when needed, otherwise no upscaling whatsoever. And we're using the most current driver, which is the 8250 right now. Starting off with the lowest of the lowest, the A310 4GB VRAM GPU at 1080p, the low presets and FSR balance, quality or no upscaling at all. So if you want an experience at over 60 FPS, you're going to have to use FSR quality. That's where you reach 62 FPS. You can push up to FSR quality you'll get an average of 55 FPS, still highly playable. And if you don't want to touch any FSR or upscaling at all, so none, we get an average of 42 FPS. It all depends on your preference. Higher visual quality, lower FPS, higher FPS, lower visual quality. Either choice you made, the game was super smooth. No starter whatsoever, frame time frame graph is super smooth. The dev had put the GTX 1660 as the minimum requirement, but the A310 at 4GB of VRAM, so we have 2GB of VRAM less than the 1660, play quite well. The GPU is back at 99% using 3.8, 3.9GB of VRAM out of 4. CPU wise, way way above of the minimum requirement, which they only say Ryzen 5 3600 and for the RAM they said minimum 16 gigabyte but we are using 22.2 gigabyte of RAM out of 32 so 16 seems a bit uh, too low. Next up that will be the A380 with the 6 gigabyte of VRAM at 1080p low settings and no upscaling. We get an average of 58 FPS, it's highly playable, super smooth, the GPU is back at 99% using 4.9 gigabyte of VRAM, CPU wise we are in the mid 20s and for the RAM we are using 16 gigabyte of RAM, a bit lower than the, with the A310. I don't know if because we are in different area of the map but 16 still a bit short for the minimum requirement. Next up, uh, my favorite uh, Intel Arc GPU, the A580 with 8GB of VRAM at 1080p, medium settings and no upscaling. We get an average of, wait for it, 69 FPS. Mm. Nice. But uh, some weird stuff happened. The GPU was not pegged at 99%. We are in the mid 50s to mid 60s with 5.2 GB of VRAM utilization and 19.9 GB of RAM utilization. The gameplay was super smooth. I don't know where's the bottleneck if there's any, but the FPS was uh, varying from 95 FPS to 48. Might need more testing to figure out why the low utilization of the GPU. Or maybe I forgot to restart the game when you change the preset because the game actually asks you to reset the game when you change low, medium, high or ultra. Next up, the A750, another 8GB VRAM card. We have a similar situation as the A580. The GPU utilization is in the mid-50, mid-60, using 4.8GB of VRAM for 1080p medium settings and no upscaling, an average of 78 FPS. It's highly playable, it is super smooth. Why I don't get the 100%, uh, 99% utilization of the GPU, I have no idea. CPU-wise, it's still in the low 30s, high 20s, and with this time we're using 15.5 gigabyte of RAM. But I guess as long as the game plays is smooth, uh, I won't complain. But I really need to figure out why the GPU is not big. Jumping to the A778 gigabyte variant, we also jump the settings from medium to high presets at 1080p and no upscaling. We're now using an average of 7.2 gigabyte of VRAM out of 8. CPU wise is still in the low 30s, high 20s, using 16 gigabyte of RAM for an average of 65 FPS, but up and down. Go as high as 109 to 
as low as 38 fps. We have the GPU again hovering between 39% of position to 77% of position. If anyone have an idea what's going on, please uh, comment or what I should look or test to be able to figure out why the GPU is not peg at 100%. Next up, it's again the A770, but this time it's the LE at 16 gigabyte of VRAM, but that won't matter at all. We're still at 1080p, high settings and no upscaling, but we're using only 6.9 gigabyte of VRAM out of 16. So we don't take a full advantage of the GPU to begin with. With an average of 68 FPS, we're quite close to the 8 gigabyte variant, but we are in a different environment right now. So that probably the cause of the difference on the FPS average. Gameplay frame time frame graph is super smooth, but again, the GPU is not pick 100%. We are in the mid 50 to mid 60 percentage of its position. I don't know, maybe the game just don't like uh, Intel GPU. CPU utilization is the same and the RAM utilization we are at 16.1. Finally, the first battle major GPU, the B570 at 10 GB of VRAM. I said 10 GB of VRAM because we're currently using 14.7 GB of VRAM. I mean, we go fetch the difference in the system memory. 4.7 GB of RAM is used as VRAM to play at 1080p ultra settings and no upscaling. But hey, we managed to push the GPU to 99% of its position, finally. So far only the A310 and A380 was able to be pegged at 99%, so we know we are using the maximum capability of the GPU we have to offer. And then only the B570 afterward. The gameplay was smooth enough to be considered uh, playable and enjoyable, but there was some spike here and there, obviously because we're using some of the system memory. You better drop the settings to high instead of ultra. And then you'll be over 60 FPS, uh, similar to the A770 bold variant. And finally, the most powerful uh, our GPU, the B580, with 12 GB of VRAM, again 12 GB of VRAM, because we're using 14.6 GB of VRAM, we again go fetch some of the memory of the system, of the computer, which is currently at 19.2 GB of RAM, utilization. But the GPU is back at 99%, finally. The frame time frame graph was smooth, but with some up and down, no spike, just up and down, going as high as 114 FPS and as low as 39 FPS. It's playable if you don't look at the up and down roller coaster style uh, FPS. Otherwise, uh, better play at high settings to be just over 70 FPS. In the end, we know that every Intel Arc GPU can actually play the game at different uh, settings and presets, obviously. We also learned that the reason probably they didn't put any uh, proposed minimum requirement or recommended this one is they don't even know either. With some card having the GPU not even peg at 99% uh, or 100%, wandering in the 50s but giving decent FPS, and having other using more memory than they should, as for the system memory, same thing. Is it a 16 or is it a 24? Is it how much? Anyway, don't hate me. I'll just go back to Hark Raiders. Thanks to have come watching. See you in the next one and subscribe.